Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I have got a self-love success story. I love these ones. So it is from Vanessa. My name is Vanessa. I am 22 and I live in Toronto. This is my success story. It does, no, it does involve a specific person, but this story is about how I found myself. I have been watching your videos for over a year now, but it took me a while to truly grasp what you've been telling me all of this time. When my relationship with my specific person first began, I would give him many things. I used to think that everything I was doing for him, I was doing out of pure love and kindness. That I was simply a kind giving person who wanted to give him the world. I am that person, however, in this relationship, I was not. Those were not my true intentions. Deep down under several layers of delusion, I was only trying to fill a void that had been left by years of negative thinking. I have spent most of my life focused on negativity. I was a toxic person, I'll admit. I never took responsibility for my actions or my feelings. I blamed others constantly and I was terrible to many people, worst of all, to myself. I thought that if I could just convince him that I was the perfect girl for him, everything would fall into place. I would be happy and I'd spend the rest of my life with him. That, of course, was painfully untrue. I was incredibly insecure. I always assumed the worst and I spent most of my time obsessing about the other women that he was seeing. I would even go as far to find them on social media and compare myself to them. I would pretend to be okay with it but I wasn't very good at that. He would constantly point out how hurt I looked. In the middle of a fantastic evening with him, I'd think about the other women and become cold, angry, and self-conscious. Not only did I push him away emotionally, but I pushed him away physically as well. I didn't want him to touch me, or perhaps I did, but I wanted somehow to punish him or make him feel guilty for not wanting to be exclusive with me. Thinking about it now, why on earth would he? I was selfish, pessimistic, needy, extremely self-depreciating and jealous. Trying to get love or validation from him was like an addiction. When I didn't get it, I broke down and I threw tantrums like a child, accusing him of not caring for me at all. When I did get it, I would feel great for a moment and shortly after, I would doubt the sincerity of his affection and still end up breaking down. I was never happy. All the time I thought I was, I wasn't. I had dabbled in the law of attraction a bit before, but never really understood what I know now. I did self-love meditations reluctantly with the sole purpose of getting love from him, but of course, it didn't work. That isn't how love, real love works. I kept projecting my doubts and fears daily, pushing him away further. He was frustrated. I could feel our connection was fading away, but I was desperate. I tried to hold on to whatever I could, but a voice inside kept telling me to let go. I contemplated breaking up with him for weeks, but I was so afraid of being alone. During that time, we barely spoke, and when we did, I would bring up how hurt I was about how he didn't make me a priority, how I didn't believe he cared about me, and I'd question him about other women. It was like I needed to hear him confirm my fears that the other women were better than me. <clears throat> but he never said that. Instead, he told me that he couldn't see himself having romantic feelings for me anymore. This was five days before my birthday when we had planned to spend it together. I was heartbroken. I began crying and what should have been a mature conversation turned into a heated argument. After hanging up the phone, I felt upset for a moment until it suddenly became crystal clear. I had created this. I then wrote down everything I did wrong, and believe me, I was so shocked at how long this list was. My constant projection and focus was on the very things I didn't want and became a reality. I accepted that I had unintentionally manifested and wrote him a long text apologizing for the whole situation. I suggested that we leave everything in the past and start afresh as friends. In hindsight, I shouldn't have texted him anything. I didn't owe him an explanation or an apology. I didn't need him to forgive me. I needed to forgive myself. 
I realized that everything I had experienced in this relationship and in all of my relationships and friendships before <clears throat> was my creation. Everyone really is you pushed out. Of course, I had heard this before, but it never really clicked until now. But mm, this time it had all made sense. I spent the rest of the day reflecting in my journal, releasing all of that negativity that I'd been harboring. I finally made peace with my past. I let go of all of those negative emotions, all of that hurt and pain. Suddenly I didn't care if he ever replied to my text. I didn't care if I ever spoke to him again. I didn't need him anymore. All I needed was myself. I had been and it had been about me this entire time. I finally felt free. Completely free. Almost like I was being reborn and was seeing the world for the first time. All of that weight that I had carried had finally been lifted. Ten minutes later, I received a text. What he wrote probably would have bothered me before, but now it had meant nothing. I didn't have anything to say to him because I was just so happy with me. I didn't need his reassurance or his validation because I have myself. I reassure myself. I validate myself. I was the prize all along. I feel so inspired and full of life for the first time in what seemed like an eternity. I have never been so happy and so secure. I look in the mirror and I finally see myself for who I am. The beautiful, brilliant, radiant woman I have always been and always will be. I can now truthfully say that I love myself. I am so grateful and blessed to have learned so much. And I've learned such a powerful lesson that I can now take with me for the rest of my life that I can now take with me for the rest of my life. I know I will find the right person for me, but I am no longer searching. I have faith that the person for me will arrive at the divine moment. For now, I am focused on myself and living my life to the fullest. I am so excited for the future. Thank you, Agnes, for sharing this wisdom and knowledge with the world. Thank you for helping me along this journey. Feel free to share my story if you want. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I appreciate you take the time to read this oh nice 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 thank you Vanessa you sent me this in January 2018 so thank you so much I love a good self-love story I think they are so 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 important this sounded like a major turning point it's brilliant I will put down below the other self-love success stories down in the description below for you. And I will also put down below a wonderful, wonderful interview by Dr. Hugh Len. And it is more of him explaining about Ho'oponopono and about how pretty much what Vanessa's talking about, everyone is you pushed out. So for those of you who want a little bit of extra listening today, it will be down below for you. Okay. <laughs>